actually join me on round three of the Winter League. As you can see, round two, we tried to get there, but it got called off. Welcome to the second round of the Winter League. I've actually drawn peg 38 on all this. Lovely peg this one. I've actually fished it quite a few times, so I know what I'm doing. It should be half decent in section. Let's see how we get on. So at the start of the match now, all in just gone and I'm gonna feed the line which I'm gonna start on. So I'm just gonna put some maggots in, 14 and a half meter, just a few. So hopefully they'll come settle over them just while I feed the rest of my other lines. I like to put a bit of bait in, give myself a few options from the start. So I've got a line here at 14 and a half. And then one just to the right as well, which I'm going to put a little nugget of ground bait on. Just a little nugget of ground bait with a few maggots in the top and that's just to the right and I'm just going to leave that one there and just toss pot the odd maggot and bit of ground bait on that one. Whereas on the one in front of me I'm going to flick maggots over the top. Just line up with me five wink marker, tip that in, that's that one done. I'll bring that back and then I'm actually going to be fishing down to the area to my left which is also 14 and a half metres and there I'm just going to put some maggots and ground bait down there Some of the lakes were actually a dice on them this morning, especially furs. This one didn't have any ice as such, but the aerators have been running through the night, which obviously is going to make the fishing difficult. But there's quite a lot of fish that live in this area in general, so I don't want to go in too negative to start with. I like to still feed it as if fish are going to have a feed. It's warming up today, so hopefully put that in there. Hopefully the, the fishing will pick up as the day goes on. But I'm expecting it to be a little bit difficult to start with. So that's that line fed now. Just going to put some maggots and a bit of ground bait down the edge and then some short as well. Maggots and a bit of ground bait there. Ship that in down that edge. See if it comes down there a little bit later. And pop short, and we'll see how we get on from there. So it's been a little bit of a slow start as expected. Obviously that cold water being mixed in hadn't done it any favours. I had a couple of fish and just started getting the odd bite and indication now. 
it's not hectic by any means, but looking up to me right, there's not much going on, so I'm just going to take it steady and make the most of what I can at the moment. Hopefully it'll pick up a little bit soon. I've had a couple of like, half-decent sized fish, so I don't mind waiting for bites if they're going to be a bit of a better stamp, so we'll just have to play it by ear and take us time and see how we get get on. Just gonna keep them maggots. Not gonna feed as heavy as normal, just keep some ticking over at top just to draw any fish into the area. Like just attract them to my bait basically. But normally I like to fire quite a few maggots in. But I'm just gonna put the odd ones in and just keep them falling through water, hopefully. This usually oh, there we go now. I say this usually works. Let's take my time, make them all count. Like I said, I don't think it's going to be that hectic today. Looks like an eyed. There we go. Little eyed. I'm just shipping out, obviously I'll fill my little toss pot up, I'm going to tap them in on my right hand line, leave that and then fish on my left hand side. So hopefully just building that swim up, if we can get two swims going then that'll be awesome. So that one's just fed to the right and then I'll fish to the left and then just flick a few maggots over the top. Keep laying the rig in, trickling them maggots over. Oh, there we go. A little run of fish going now, which is nice to see. It seems it seems hard looking up at the side of me. I've seen guy to me right catch one, guy to his side the right even catch a couple. So. Whatever it's difficult like this, I'm just going to keep ticking over and catching what I can while I can. I don't know how long they're going to last, but whatever, there's a few fish there. I'll just try keep putting fish in net and not not try out stupid. Flowing steady today, I think. Looks like a, a nice eye, this one. So I've had a couple of better stamp fish.
sit back out, fill my pot with maggots and a bit of ground bit again, tap them in on that right hand side and then fish them in the left. There you go, you spin that round. Fish over here, lay me rig in, flick a couple of maggots over the top. Do this for a little bit then, see how we get on. So I'm just going to have a quick look down the edge, now down this left hand side. Seems a bit slow, my bites have dried up on that 14 and a half metre line. So I just keep flicking odd maggots out there, flicking to aerator as well. But I'm just going to have a quick look down this inside. Sometimes you can catch a few fish down there, a few barb will live down there and whatnot, but we'll see what, what we can get. Yeah, it's not like carp fishing where you've got to wait till that last hour, couple of hours to catch out down these edges. As long as you're introducing bits of bait quite regular, it usually attracts a few fishing early on, so... Oh, little indication there. Yeah, you can catch quite early. Some nice roach and hide down here, a bit shorter as well, so if you can get them competing here, a bit of cover, sometimes they're a bit easier to catch but like I say it's been a cold one so it's just about finding where they're going to feed and making most of the opportunities when they do. There we go, I've got one now. Just going to take my time. massive fish but like I say them up to me right I've not seen much being caught at all I can't see right up I can see two possibly three I can see just about so I'm just back on the 14 and a half meter line now just to my left there's still odd fish there I'm going to give the line to me right a go next I think so I have caught the odd fish again on this left hand side. Been feeding the one on the right but not had any yet. That's a lovely fish. Pop him in, new maggot on. Put a bit of bait on and go back to that right hand side I think. Have a, a look there, hopefully catch a fish or two at that side. I'm not going to give it too long on this right hand side. Normally if there's a fish there you'll catch it and give myself three minutes. If I haven't had any bites or indications within three minutes. I'm not going to just abandon it altogether. I'll just leave it for now and just keep putting little bits of bait in. Hopefully I might catch something on it eventually. But I don't want to push it too much. I want it as a place where I can go and just rest me over lines and hopefully pick a a bigger fish up. That seems to what happens sometimes on here. So yeah, no on there. Back to my normal line, same depth. Just keep flicking maggots over. See what happens. Keep them going into that area as well at 14 and a half metres. I'm hoping I might catch some down there later on. These odd carp down there as well, I've seen the area are knocking a little bit, so I've just got to be wary of that. They do tend to congregate there this time of year, but there's normally odd better ride mixed in between them as well. So it's a risk you've got to take. Hopefully I don't catch any carp or F1s, but if I do, it's tough. <laughs> Can't do a lot about it.
There we go, I've got another one. Shit back, take my time. So make sure they all count. Into my right, it's just had a couple on Waggler as well. It's not had much else to go with it. But I have seen him get a couple of nice eye on Waggler. And then above it, he's had a, another couple as well. So it's not hectic though, so just take my time and make sure they all count. Nice fish, just saw it under water then. There we go, that'll do. Lovely stamp them. Don't take many of them to build up your weight. I stop they're a bit more regular, but I'll take them. Same again, just maggots and a bit of ground bait. I'll pop that on my right hand side. Fish on my left. Hopefully this will pay off at some point in match and I'll catch some fish on it. But just got to keep doing it for now. Do normally catch a few on it, so we'll see. There we go. Another fish there. I'll give this a bit longer. Probably have another quick go on that right hand side, see if there's out there. And then I'm going to have a look down the edge. Hopefully, there might be a couple more fish down there. Another nice fish there. I just come down this edge now for a go, and believe it or not, as soon as I turned the cameras off, went out on that long line at 14 and a half to the right, and I've only gone and had two skimmers and a one after each other. <laughs> Typical, but obviously, it just shows that that bit of feeding that I've been doing worked. And them skimmers have probably been a pound and a half, two pound a piece, one after each other, and then not another bite. So it just goes to show you've just got to keep persevering. Literally dropped on, sat there for a couple of minutes, dink, fish. Oh, I've got one down here now. And then, yeah, shipped back out, did exactly the same, dropped a couple of maggots in, and had another one. So, and then that would no more bites. And just come down this edge now. Oops. What's this one? Seems to be doing all right. There we go, not a bad fish. I'll go with that. So we just we are coming into last hour or so now. I've caught the odd fish to air it throughout the match, but it's never been solid. Had an F one there. And lost a couple of F ones that have just or carp even that have just gone, just pulled out of them. But looking up the line, I can't see much going on to be honest. I know Carl's up on end peg, he's catching a few up there. But apart from that, I've not seen many being caught to be honest or heard about. It's 
going to keep ticking over the tree, putting fish in net. That's all you've got to do. Alternating lines, while you're getting bites, stay getting bites, and then feed other lines when I'm not on them. Just keep ticking over. Bites aren't that fast here, but I have been getting, getting a few. I keep feeding them for that 14 and a half metre line where I've caught majority of my fish as well. Some nicer stamp fish. But if you're amateur, you don't seem to catch any. I think it's a good old leaf fish. I don't know how you get proper bites off them, but get little dinks lift up, you've got a leaf. <laughs> Not what we want, but that's what you get for fishing under trees. Go back out, see if we can catch any more, and then give it another minute or so, and then I'll go on that long line. Probably call it a day on camera, and then I'll just catch up with you at end. When I get back home, I'll let you know how I've got on. Catch one more first. Let's say it's not been hectic by any standards today, but a bit difficult to say the least. More so than expected, but I suppose that's winter fishing for you. Oh, there we go. Little fish to end it. And I'll catch back up with you when I get on. Right guys, back home now and to say it's been difficult would be a little bit of an understatement for what we're used to at Oaks. I suppose we've been spoilt last few weeks, obviously. Weather's dropped, come down with like a bang basically. Air has have been on all night so it didn't iced up. But that has consequences and obviously fish is a bit difficult when water columns all mix. And like I said, I've been in a decent area. I've ended up with £15, which I'm quite happy with. Obviously, don't know what's going on at rest at lakes. And there were some stages where it was just difficult to get bites. So I plodded away. Could see guys next to me, they weren't catching. So I knew I wasn't doing all terribly wrong. And then I've ended up with £15, second in my section. Guy to his right had £2 odd. Guy to his right, £4, £12. Then Carl's ended up actually winning match off other end peg and he's had £30, I think. So I've managed to get a, a second in section and a default section win. So a nice little cheeky pickup, which I can't moan it. I've ended up with two nice skimmers, one after each other, which have probably just taken me into that second spot instead of third. So I've been a bit lucky a long way, fed for him, but that's how it goes. Hopefully, weather settles out a bit, picks up, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.